hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install the latest version of mac os which is mac os sonoma on an unsupported mac in this case i am using an outdated macbook pro 2012 of which the highest version of mac os i should be able to run is mac os catalina but we're going to be upgrading from mac os catalina to mac os sonoma now the requirements for this upgrade is one a usb flash drive of at least 16 gigabytes and two a backup drive where we're going to move everything in our drive too so we can restore it if it doesn't go as planned now the first thing we have to do is clone our drive so if we install mac os sonoma and we don't like the changes we can just revert the changes back and then continue using mac os catalina or whatever version you were on before so to do that we need a software called carbon copy cloner now let's open our browser and then let's search for carbon copy cloner the first page over here heading to bombish.com click on it okay now click on the download button right here and then you can see carbon copy cloner for different versions of mac os now if you're using from mac os sierra to mac os mojave then you should download carbon copy 5 but if you're using anything from Mac OS Catalina to Mac OS Sonoma, you should download Carbon Copy 6. Well, in this case, we are on Mac OS Catalina, so we can either use Carbon Copy 5 or 6, but I would actually prefer downloading Carbon Copy 6 since both works for my operating system. Now, I already have this file downloaded, but you just have to download. Now, after downloading Carbon Copy Cloner, we also have to download Open Core Legacy Patcher. And this is what is going to enable us to install macOS Sonoma on our unsupported MacBook. So let's open a new tab and then search for Open Core Legacy. Now scroll down and you should see a link to GitHub Open Core Legacy Patcher. Now I will provide this link in the video description so you can just click on it and then head directly to the page without having to search. So it should take you right here Open Core Legacy Patcher. Now scroll down and by the right you can see the release, the latest release is version 1.0.1 .1, which was released yesterday and this version supports the latest version of Mac OS which is Mac OS Sonoma. So let's click on it and then scroll down. Now click on open core patcher GUI app.zip. This is what we need to download so click on it and it should start downloading. The file size is about 549 megabytes. Now I already have this file downloading so I'm just going to cancel it but make sure you download both files. And lastly, this step is for you if you don't have a stable internet connection because we are going to use OpenCore Legacy Patcher to download the package file of macOS Sonoma. But if your network is not stable then I would recommend you manually download and then you can install it after manually downloading. But if you have a good internet connection then you can actually skip this step so we can download directly from open core legacy patch so whichever you're using is totally fine i'm going to show both method in this video now let's open a new tab and then search for mr macintosh mac os sonoma now click on the blog post right here and you should get a direct link to download the latest stable version of mac os sonoma now scroll down and you can see over here this is mac os sonoma stable version and if we click on install assistance.pkg you can see the link which is actually an official link to download mac os sonoma pkg so if you click on the link it should start downloading i'll also provide the direct link in the video description but i would recommend you go to the website in case there is a new update you can actually see it here but if you have a stable internet connection then you really don't have to download from here since we are going to use open core legacy patcher so we should have three files ready now we can close our browser and then open our download folder here we go this is carbon copy cloner ccc this is open core legacy patcher and this is a mac os sonoma package file which is about 12.77 gigabytes now the first thing we have to do is extract carbon copy cloner by double clicking on it also extract open core patcher now we can delete both zip or maybe just drag it to somewhere else 
first we have to run carbon copy cloner by double clicking on it open move to applications folder click on trial and then we can choose a source which is our current drive running mac os and a destination now this is where you connect an external drive in this case, I am using a 250 gigabyte drive, which I'm going to use to back up my macOS. In case I don't like the changes from macOS to Noma or I encounter an issue and I want to go back to my previous machine state. So I'm going to connect my external drive right now. And you can see it is now showing on the screen right here. Now the first thing we have to do is select a source, which is our current drive. In my case, it is my SSD right here. And then we're going to select a destination which is where we want to copy or clone your disk to so in this case it is our hdd we just connected and then click on start now I'll click on continue anyway this should take about 30 minutes or less sometimes even more it all depends on how much data you have in your drive and the read and write speed of your drives now we can continue with open call legacy patcher why this is running so let's minimize and then head back to our download folder Let's run open core patcher. Okay, so this is open core legacy patcher. Now the first thing we want to do is create Mac OS installer. So click on create Mac OS installer. And then we can either download Mac OS installer or use existing Mac OS installer. Like I mentioned earlier, if you don't have a stable internet connection, then you should download macOS installer from Mr. Macintosh which heads to the original Apple installer link. Now if you have a good internet connection then you don't have to do that. You have to just download directly by clicking on download macOS installer here. So in this case if you have a good internet connection we click on download macOS installer and it should find the available macOS versions. Okay so here we go. Now we can see different versions of macOS right here. This is Big Sur, Monterey, Ventura and Sonoma. So in this case, you just have to select macOS Sonoma and then click on download and it should start downloading. But remember, you need to have a stable internet connection because if you don't, it may cancel along the way, which you don't want to happen since it will restart the download again. And the file size is quite huge, about 13 gigabytes. So I'm going to cancel this process since I already downloaded it. But you just have to let it download if you're using this method. Now we can head back to our download folder. And then double click on the install assistant we downloaded double click on it and then continue install enter your password to confirm you're the one performing this action and then install software now let's check back on the drive and you can see the tax has been completed successfully and we've successfully cloned the drive now we can close carbon copy cloner And we're done with that now click on close now we can go to applications and and you should see install mac os sonoma so basically this is what we're going to use to run the installation so let's head back to open call legacy patcher we are creating mac os installer but this time we're using an existing mac os installer instead of downloading the mac os installer so we just click on use existing mac os installer and it is going to find it by itself and then you can see install mac os sonoma click on it now this is where you connect a usb flash drive which we are going to use to create a bootable disk so in this case i'm going to connect my 16 gigabyte flash drive to my mac and you can see it is now detected here now let's click on search for disk again and here we go now it is going to erase every piece of data in this flash drive and then create a bootable disk with mac os sonoma which we are going to use for the installation so let's click on our flash drive and then you can see a prompt to erase the flash drive let's select yes and then enter your password to confirm you're the one performing this action okay and it is going to start writing data to this flash drive now this will take some time probably about 30 minutes it all depends on the read and write speed of your system and usb flash drive but you just have to wait 
basically and we've successfully created the mac os installer now let's click on yes to install open core to this disk and then click on install to disk now we have to select the efi partition of our flash drive where we're going to install mac os so let's select our flash drive which you can see 16 gigabytes over here and then select the efi partition enter your password to confirm okay now we can click on reboot to begin the installation now while this is restarting we have to hold the option key to select a boot option hold option key while it is booting now select efi boot and then select install mac os sonoma now select the language for the installation and continue you can either upgrade or install a fresh copy of mac os sonoma to upgrade you can just continue with install mac os sonoma but since we are erasing everything and installing from scratch we are going to use disk utility click on disk utility so we can erase the drive and then install mac os now select your internal hard drive where mac os is running from in my case you can see my ssd by the side there internal so click on it and then click on erase make sure you set the format to apfs and then you can click on erase now click on done and then we can head back by closing the page now let's continue to install mac os sonoma continue continue now agree to the terms of service and then continue select our drive which we want to install mac os which is our ssd in my case this is the same drive we erased earlier and then continue and it should start installing this would take some time to install you just have to wait patiently also note that it may restart severely while it is installing this is a normal process voiceover press command f5 now to turn it on and set up your mac if you would like to learn how to use voiceover to set up your mac and we are done with the installation now we just have to set up with our preference and then log in our icloud and we can begin using our machine and here we go macOS Sonoma has been successfully installed on our MacBook Pro 2012 which by default is not supposed to work now we can head to about this Mac to check and you can see that this is running the latest version of macOS which is macOS Sonoma one last thing we have to do is install open core in our boot drive instead of the flash drive we are currently running on so to do that head to your applications folder and then run open core first we have to run post install root patch to fix most of the issues you may encounter like your keyboard lights not working your wi-fi and any other issue basically so we click on start root patching yes now enter your password to confirm you're the one doing this We're just going to ignore the reboot for now and return to main menu. Now click on settings. We have to disable show open core boot picker so it boots directly without showing any option. Return back. Now we have to click on build and install open core. And then we select install to disk. This time we're going to select our main hard drive instead of our flash drive and then select the efi partition and it should install open core to the efi partition of our main drive so we can unplug the usb drive and we should be able to run mac os sonoma without any issue enter your password to confirm and that's all basically if this video was helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one